Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video for the 5% series that is to finish in the top 5% globally. Follow these instructions and you should do okay. All right, let's look at how the last couple of game weeks went and what we should be doing for game week 36. In the last video I did for this series, it was too close to when the games were finishing and I wouldn't have time to put all the scores in. So I said that this week I would do the scores for the last two weeks. So the scores are a bit silly for some of these, but it gives us an idea how you could have done. So all the scores I'm showing you are for two game weeks and some players had a double game week last week. So the goalkeepers, you'd have played one of De Gea, who got 12, Raya, who got 5, Ramsdale, 13, Pope, 4, Kepa, 6, Meslier, 1. That was an average of 6.8 for the keeper. Now I'm aware, of course, a lot of you would have actually swapped your keepers around, so you may have done better than any of these say. Equally, you could have done worse, of course. Defenders. Your team will have two or three of these. I'm going to score it as if you played two of these. Trent, who got 18. Van Dyke, 18. Trippier, 3. Chilwell, 3. Shaw, 10. Gabriel, 9. Zinchenko, 8. For an average of 19.7. You'd have had two or three of these, so I'm scoring for two. Me got four, Estupinen 16, Aguard 14, Botman 6, Pinnock 4, Castagna 1, Fafana 1, Canate 11. That's an average of 14.3. Scoring for two of these midfielders, Salah 28, Fernandez 15, Saka 5, Madison 11, Grealish 7, Gakpo 3, Rashford 10, Odegaard 25. So an average of 26, but if you happen to have Salah and Odegaard, they'd have got you 53 points the last two game weeks, so that would have been nice. You'd have had two or three of these. Martinelli, 7. Gibbs-White, 16. McAllister, 19. Matoma, 9. March, 3. Jensen, 4. Somerville, 3. That's an average of 17.4. You'd have had one or two of these. Harland, 18. I'm scoring for one of these. Kane 16, Darwin 8, Jesus 9, Tony 9, Felix for 7. That's an average of 11.2. And you'd have had one or two of these. I'm scoring for one. So I'm assuming you played a 4-4-2, even though a lot of you wouldn't have. Watkins 3, Isaac 9, Ings 2, Wilson 2, Asterix, because we only had him last week. But I'm just saying, right, well, last week he got two. So that's what I'm throwing in here. Johnson 10 and Bremo 3. That's an average of 4.8. And then the captains, which I'm just doing captains for last week, what they would have scored the past two weeks, because again, this is just an approximation. Harland 18, Kane 16, Salah 28, Rashford 10, Watkins 3. And the three Brighton midfielders, 9, 3 or 19. So the captains would have averaged 13.3. So my rough and ready calculations suggest... Comparing to the global average of 121 for the past two game weeks, the worst team you could have picked with the system would have scored 35. The average was 113.5 and the best was 223. And as, I was, as always, I've not checked the team would have been legal for the minimum and maximum. But basically, you could have got some good scores. And for the people I know are following this, I check their teams and they tend to have green arrows, tend to be in the top 5%. Well... Everyone who I know has been following it from the start are in the top 5%. The rest are there or thereabouts, it seems. 658 subscribers. Thank you very much. And just one other note there. When I make these videos, I've got them all numbered in my own little folder structure. And this is video 100. So wave a little flag for that, at least for me. So thank you very much to everyone who watches these and likes them and subscribes, etc. Thank you. So transfer talk, game week 36, what we're coming up to. I'm going to look at all the players now and colour coding them. If I say they're green, I think they're a very good buy. Now you've got to make your own decisions about what you do. I'm just saying you may want to be aware I think this player is a very good buy. Yellow is a good buy. Orange is, it's okay to sell. It doesn't mean they're a bad player. It doesn't mean I think they're going to score poorly. It means either to free up a space or else to free up some money, it's okay to sell that. And if anyone's red, I'm suggesting you sell them, even if it's for a hit. So of your goalkeepers, we have in the system Pope, De Gea, Ramsdale, Kepper, Raya, Meslier. Pope has a double in 36, De Gea has a double in 37, Kepper has a double in 37. I'm suggesting that Pope and De Gea are both 
they're both okay buys, good buys. Um, but only if you've got nothing else to do or else rearranging your squad, it helps to free up, I don't know, a player or something. So I, generally I wouldn't suggest doing a goalkeeper transfer, but if you wanted to, for whatever reason, these two are perfectly okay ones to change. For example, if you have no other transfers to make and you've got two free transfers that you could make and you've got maybe Mesley or Ramsdale or Rare in goal, you may as well get Pope if you can or De Gea because they should do better than the three I just mentioned in the next couple of weeks. Of the expensive defenders, we have Trippier, Trent, Shaw, Van Dijk, Gabriel, Zinchenko, Stones, Chilwell. Of these, Trippier doubles in 36, Shaw doubles in 37, Stones doubles in 37, so does Chilwell. I'd say that Trippier is a good buy. I'd say Shaw a good buy. They're both good buys. I would say Trent. Trent is also a good buy. I've made him yellow, so not as good as green, but he's very close to being a green because of the way he's playing in his position midfield. He's getting a lot of attacking returns. So even though he doesn't have a double game week, he's actually very good, but he's also expensive. Stones does have a double game week coming up, so I've also made him the yellow. Of the cheaper defenders... Canate, Estupinen, Botman, Fafana, Me, Pinnock, Aguard and Castagna. Estupinen doubles in 36, as does Botman. Estupinen doubles in 37, as does Fafana. I'm suggesting Estupinen's a very good buy. I'm suggesting Botman's a good buy, but only really for this week. You may not play him again after this week. He's also only yellow because there are other, there are other Newcastle players you may rather have, and you've only got room for three. Of the midfielders, the expensive midfielders, Salah, Fernandes, Grealish, Rashford, Saka, Gakpo, Odegaard and Madison. Fernandes doubles in 37, as does Grealish, as does Rashford. I'm suggesting Salah is a very good buy. He seems to be getting assists and or goals every week at the moment. He hasn't got any double game weeks, but if you can get him into your team, I think he's worth having. Fernandes, he's also very good. He has got a double game week next game week. I certainly wouldn't be selling Salah to get in Fernandez, but if you wanted to, that's up to you, but I wouldn't. <laughs> uh, Rashford is also good. It's worth getting Rashford in your team. So definitely try and have at least two of these in your team if you possibly can, but I realise money may be a little tight. Odegaard, he's been very good recently. He's got a couple of nice fixtures in 37-38, so he's a good buy. Madison... Although he's at home to Liverpool this coming game week, Liverpool can leak goals, especially away from home. He is expensive. He does take up a slot. I think it's worth swapping Madison for another midfielder. But you don't have to. It's entirely up to you. Of the cheaper midfielders, we have March, Matoma, McAllister, Martinelli, Gibbs, White, Jensen and Somerville. The three Brighton boys have got two double game weeks coming up. March is injured. He's not flagged as red at time of recording, but I think it's worth. Don't take the risk. I would get rid of him. Even if it cost you a minus four, we've only got three game weeks left. Let's try and get some points. But Matoma and McAllister are both very good buys. So if you don't have Matoma and McAllister and you do have March, swapping March for one of those two may be a straightforward swap you want to do. But if you want to do something different, that's absolutely fine as well. It's okay to move on Jensen and Somerville. You wouldn't do this for the cash. You'd do this to free up a space. Of the expensive forwards, we have Haaland, Kane, Tony, Darwin, Jesus and Felix. Haaland doubles in 37, as does Felix. Haaland, very good buy. If you don't have Haaland, you really should try and get him in. Kane is very good at getting points consistently, but he's very expensive and he's taking up a slot. If you've got him, it's okay to sell him. You don't have to. Darwin's a good player. Disappointing, though, as pretty much always. You might want to sell him if you've got him to free up a bit of money. Of the cheaper forwards, we have Watkins, Isaac, Ings, Wilson, Johnson and Buemo. Isaac and Wilson double in this coming game week. And I would suggest they're both very good buys. So if possible, it's worth going into this double game week with three Newcastle players. Three Brighton players as well, that'd be nice, but you've only got two midfielders and one defender to choose from. But it's definitely worth having three Newcastle players. 
it's worth i think you've got watkins it's okay to sell him to free up a little bit of money and a space the same with ings those two are absolutely fine to let go so on the bench this week what we do every week we look at who to put on your bench if we get that right the other 11 sort themselves out so for the goalkeeper if you have Meslier, he goes on your bench. If you don't have him, but you have Raya, he's on your bench. If you have neither of those two, but Ramsdale, he's on your bench. Next option would be Kepa, then De Gea, which means if you have Pope, you will be playing Pope. I'm now going to show you 16 players. The first player you see that you have goes to position three on your bench. Uh, the second one you have position two. The, first, the last one, position one, but of course it has to be legal. You can't put three defenders on your bench. Or three forwards, of course. So if you have Somerville, he's on your bench. Next choice is Aguad, then Castagna, Ings, Jensen, Pinnock, Me, and Bremo, Canate, Johnson, Gibbs, White, Gakpo, Chilwell, Fafana, Van Dyke, and Madison. I'm aware that some of these are good players, have a reasonable chance of returning, but the players you've got left, I think, are going to be better than these. If your bench isn't full after this, I suggest you put on the bench your cheapest defender who doesn't have a double game week. Or if you don't want to do that or you can't do that, go for your cheapest outfield player, your midfielder or forward. Just put one of those on your bench, the cheaper one. Regarding captaincy, we're spoilt for choice. There's loads we could captain this week. So I'm suggesting Isaac is a perfectly good choice to wear the old mule hat. Also, another good captain choice would be Wilson. If you don't fancy either of those two or you don't have either of those two, Trippier. Possibly a bit of a risky choice because he's not going to get loads of goals. He may get no goals. He may get no assists. He could get two points both games, but he would be a fun pick. Also, you could choose one of the two Brighton midfielders you have. Although Haaland, Salah and Rashford are all good choices. So I'm thinking you're all going to have two of these players at least. So choose one as captain, one as vice captain. The order I've listed them is probably the safest order to choose them, but it kind of really doesn't matter too much, probably. And hopefully that makes enough sense. There we have it. Thank you very much for watching. That was the instructions for Double Game Week 36. If you've been following this for long enough, then hopefully you'll be in the top 5% globally now and doing pretty well in your mini league. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.